Hi, I'm Narayanan Suresh. I'm subject matter expert flow applications from Yokogawa. I'm going to show you a demonstration of multi-phase flow measurement and net oil computation using Rotamas. In this demonstration video, I will show you how Rotamas is able to cope up with 25% gas void fraction without compromising the measurement. Before moving on to the demonstration, I would like to give a brief introduction to Coriolis flow meter used in net oil computation and multi-phase application with entrained gas. The measurement of net oil and water cut by Coriolis flow meter would be very straightforward, accurate and reliable if only two-phase liquid existed, that is oil and water. Many a times in practical applications, it is very common to have entrained gas in the oil water emulsion. The entrained gas in the oil water emulsion could range from 2% to as high as 40%. The entrained gas or GVF in oil water emulsion will cause two major impacts on Coriolis flow meter's performance. One, the Coriolis flow meter will stop measurement altogether. This is because the tube stops vibrating when the entrained gas is present due to the decoupling effect. Under such condition, the Coriolis flow meter freezes the flow output and does not register any flow changes. Two, the Coriolis flow meter will report incorrect net oil flow. Let us see why entrained gas in oil water emulsion will report incorrect net oil flow. For computing net oil flow rate, accurate measurement of density is of paramount importance which is governed by this equation. Based on this equation, let's see an example how entrained gas in oil water emulsion will report incorrect net oil flow. Case 1, where just oil water emulsion is flowing. We have the reference density of oil at 900 kg per meter cube and reference density of water at 1000 kg per meter cube. The density of the oil and water mixture measured by the Coriolis flow meter is 950 kg per meter cube. Then according to the equation, the net oil weight percentage is calculated as 47.37% which is correct. Case 2 when entrained gas is present in oil water emulsion. The reference density of oil is 900 kg per meter cube and the reference density of water is at 1000 kg per meter cube. The density of oil, water and air mixture measured by the Coriolis flow meter is 890 kg per meter cube. This is because the presence of air causes a density measurement drop in Coriolis flow meter. According to the equation, the net oil weight percentage is calculated as 111.26% which is incorrect. This phenomena can simply be understood from the example of oil sample collected from the separator outlet. Initially, the volume is high in the jar due to the presence of entrained gas. After some resting time, the gas separates out, thus the volume of the oil is reduced. Hence we can see, when the entrained gas is present, the measured density of the emulsion drops, thereby increasing the net oil flow rate and water cut percentage artificially. Now let's begin the net oil demonstration using Rotamas. This is our net oil demonstration rig and I will show you how a demonstration rig is set up like. We have a tank filled with oil water emulsion. As you can see, the oil and water has separated out due to the long retention time. And this is the interface level. The entire tank is sitting on a highly accurate weighing scale and the reading of the weighing scale can be seen from this display. At this level of the tank, we have a level switch to trip the pump off automatically. This is to ensure a fixed mass of oil water emulsion is transferred each batch. The two-phase oil water emulsion is pumped through this 3-inch rota mass via this pipe. This is the air injection point in the pipe. We have a compressor below the table to inject air to simulate gas white fraction. The volume of injected air is measured by this rotameter. For this demonstration purpose, we have set the needle valve of this rotameter to inject 25% of the air in the pipe. Thus, the three-phase medium, oil, water and injected air, flows through this rota mass and gets collected in the tank on the other side. It is very important to note that we are using a 3-inch rota mass a typical meter size used for real-time wellhead and separator applications. We have a known mass of oil water emulsion in the tank. The total mass of oil water emulsion is 64 kilos. The mass of the water only is 20 kilos and the mass of oil only is 44 kilos. So at the end of the batch, the rota mass should be able to show these figures. 
let's do the three phase demonstration now. We're going to pump uh, the oil water emulsion through the Coriolis flow meter and also we are going to inject 25% air. So the Coriolis flow meter is going to see the three phase flow. So to start the demo with, we have the zero from the Coriolis flow meter and we have the zero from the weighing scale. Before starting the demonstration, we have mixed the oil water thoroughly to form a tight emulsion. So now let's start the pump and get flowing. The two-phase oil and water emulsion is flowing through the rotor mass. Now we open the valve to inject the air. The volume of air injected is measured by this rotor meter, which in this case is 25% of emulsion flow rate. Now three-phase mixture is flowing through the rotor mass. The rotor mass is measuring the water cut percentage, net oil flow and the gross flow. We can see the rotor mass display slug detection alarm when it detects entrained gases present in the process. The rotor mass continues to measure accurately and repeatably despite of 25% air entrainment. The meter does not stall or freeze the last measured value. The graph shows the live process data from the rotor mass. In this graph, the density is represented in green plot line, the mass flow is represented in red plot line, and the volume flow is represented in yellow plot line. It can be observed that the computed density by advanced net oil computation algorithm is accurate and constant even when 25% of entrained gas or gas white fraction is present continuously. It can also be observed that the volume flow is tracing the mass flow. When entrained gas or slug flow is detected by rotor mass, the advanced net oil computation algorithm kicks in and computes the density of oil based on the inbuilt API MPMS 11 table with pressure and temperature corrections. Water density calculation is done by the built-in algorithms like SMOW, Enosco 1980, MPMS 11.4, MPMS 20.1A1 and l Dusoki equations. At the end of the batch, we see the rotor mass has accurately measured the gross total mass and net total oil. The water cut percentage is an instantaneous value, the net oil flow and the gross flow is a totalized value. The rotor mass has measured the total weight of emulsion as 63.992 kilos as compared to 64.12 kilos from the weighing scale. The measurement deviation in this case is 0.19%. Also, the rotor mass has measured the net oil as 44.972 kilos as compared to 44 kilos at actual. Measurement deviation in this case is 2.2%. It has been demonstrated how rotor mass on standalone basis continued to measure net oil and water cut percentage accurately and repeatably despite 25% of air entrainment without compromising the measurement. When it comes to measurement of net oil and water cut at the wellhead and separators, rotor mass is the production manager's preferred choice. Rotor mass installed in more than 1,000 wells in upstream production process globally continues to deliver accurate and reliable net oil, water cut and flow measurement to the users. So that concludes our demo on rotor mass for net oil computation application. For help and to learn more about rotor mass for net oil computation and wet gas measurements, please visit rotamas.com.